What's going on, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy, Jay, back with another real and fake review, man. I'm taking a break from watching these NBA playoffs, man. The Bucks, they they handling business, man. So Chicago go, Chicago going to Cancun tonight. So uh, that's about it, man, unless some type of miracle from God happened. But, yeah, that's about it for Chi-Town, man. So I said, man, let me take a little minute, knock out a video or two, man, tonight. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. He's in brotherhoods, man. Uh, I caught an L the first time on the sneakers app. Couldn't get anything on the foot sites. Um, so I was like, man, you know, they ain't all that to go ahead trying to go resell on them. But I happened to get a pair on the restocks because nobody cared about them after that. And uh, uh, before I got the restock, shout out to Sneaker Lover 83. He the one that hooked me up with these things right there. And I did wear them once. So they're a little dirty. I like to do my unboxings ah, right there in front of your face. Sneakers out. Ah, pull these bad boys out. Ah, and the box goes bye bye. All right. Of course, you guys already know there's no price tag on these kicks anymore. Oh, take this bad boy out here. This one. Hey, Fugazi came with the price on it. Let's see what this box look like. Move the shoe out the way. Ah. All right. They're pretty close. Pretty close. I can't see much right now. Yeah, it can scratch that wax. Yeah, that's just about same i can't say much only thing you could probably maybe tell from even that looks kind of sloppy like you got grease marks on them and stuff um okay this is the legit pair which it has the stamp on it let's see how the fits on there nice and fine nice and snug they got all that right so let's see what this one has it has a stamp on it as well uh, by the way, this is like one of the first versions um, that I got, and he did not include the, uh, the shoe trees with him. So we got that. We got the YDM and the Fugazi. All right. So let's get this back up here. Boom. See, it's nice. Hold it up. Oh, man, I forgot the lace bag. Ah, these bags. Oh, this feels good. Mmm, nice Jordan one smell. Uh, I definitely want to do the squeeze test on these, and I might do that first because a lot of people are saying, "Hey, man, I got my Rebellionaires, man. And they kind of flimsy too." I know those fakes, man. They are horrendous. Uh, I showed you uh, guys that in my uh, Rebellionaire video. Bad, extra, extra, extra bad. Uh, I forgot the extra the lace bags. Uh, they're in my other room, and I'm not going to get them. We're going to leave that the way it is. All right, so let's get these here in the camera. All right, I might have to move these things over a little bit more, a little bit more. All right. Shoot, ain't that much of a difference from, from here. Good God. We're just going to have to see how the material feels. Let's see. Let's just do the squeeze test right out the bat. Get that. Got the new school shoe tree. Um, that, that die cut sock liner. Let's squeeze this bat. usually you know the bottom of the sole is usually soft and you, you already know what i did with these you guys already know what i did with these that's effortless so there you go right there l flimsy i say the toe box on the fake looks better than that legit it's a more of a sleeker look yeah these are solid man you could tell the difference man material wise Material wise, color wise, man, I think they got this. 
that color is on point. The color, I guess the laces are different. Slightly, I mean, the way it's braided, that's about it. But, man, they got that pretty much right. But, of course, you know the, uh, the mudguard and the toe box are different because they're two completely different shapes. Uh, the leather cut. Wow, them boys, them boys did a right job. And now, if I'm not mistaken, this is like one of the first versions. This is one of the first versions. Uh, we're going to take a look behind the tongue. Because we all know that tongue material is real thin in the back. Yeah, that, hey, hey, boys, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. The boys did all right. This tongue has like zero to no uh, plush into it, where this is nice and plush. And that tag, made in China, made in China. Uh, we're gonna take a look. Are right, the yellows this? Yo, they did a good job. I ain't gonna lie. I usually don't say stuff like that. But I give credit where credit is due. That Wings logo, this is the fake one. I think that might be the difference. That Wings logo. Definitely the Wings logo. Hourglass, since I wore these, since I warm, probably might not see that hourglass shape and the height. Wow. Well, first version, them boys did their thing. Let's see how the midsole looks. Yeah, of course, the midsoles are always different. That different pattern on here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a different material. This is more of a... Oh, this is different here. Definitely here. I don't know if the, the, if the camera... There you go, you see? It's more of a, a sheen to this one. That's a flat material. Look at the medial side. This is the legit pair. Of course, this is the fake pair. They did a good job. Even with the scaling. Matter of fact, it's like this, uh, this pair actually looks bigger than the fake pair. And usually it's the fakes that are scaled higher. This is a different one, Fred. This, this is definitely a different one. Let's just pull out. Let's pull out these uh, insoles, man. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm a little stunned with this one. This thing's glued in here pretty hard, huh? Oh wow! Take a look on the inside. This is the fake pair. Has that long piece of tape in there. Retail pair came out pretty easily. I don't know if I could pull this thing out. I'm gonna try and pull it out since I got this one out. Wow. Man, this thing is stuck to the insole, man. Like the, the footbed is, I'm pulling. Watch this, watch this. As I'm pulling, you might see this. Watch. You see it. You see the insole pull it in. You see the, the outsole pulling in. Ah, wow! It, it ain't coming out. I'ma leave it be. I'm just gonna leave it be. But this is a legit pair. There you have it. Of course. The insides, the short piece of tape. Look at the stitching. So I'm just gonna get on with it. Nine minutes in. This is a short one because uh, there's like quality and craftsmanship type difference uh, with the Nike pair. Slightly slight difference in materials. I don't know what the updated pairs of the fakes look like, but um, it should be pretty close because they did a damn good job uh, with that one right there. All right, let's black like these bad boys. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, I think I messed up.
messed up here. I think I moved my. Legit pair. Nothing's reflecting here. That fugazi. Oh, 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 oh. You see it? Look at that. All that reflective material, uh, reflecting. And then they got the trace marks here, all the pin marks. That's the same there, but, and they, yeah, those laces, the stitching does glow here, all right. And it's here, but this is it right here. All of that reflective thread here. And there's uh, the canvas material reflecting on the inside. And is that canvas material reflecting on the inside here? Yep. Yep. there let me go ahead and just weigh them and i can end this thing man might as well uh, i take the shoe trees out since i don't have to shoot trees included and i still leave that lace bag in there it's all good i left the lace bags in my other room so I'll leave that be if i find my homage to homes I just go ahead and do that review, uh, video review as well, real fake. All right, left shoe, a one pound, three ounces. Uh, that's with the laces. Uh, this one's with a shoe tree in it. One pound, 2.9 ounces. And then I will take that shoe tree out. Then I'll put that in there. Uh, we got one pound, 1.9 ounces. So it's a little bit lighter than the retail pair, but the retail pair had the uh, laces and um, the lace bags. So so we're gonna pull this one out. Legit pair, right shoe, one pound, 1.9 ounces. Here's the moment of truth. One pound, 1.8. So they weigh the same. <laughs> wow, they, they did a good job with this. It's gonna keep it 100. They did an excellent job with these. Period. Dot dot. Can't say nothing wrong with these. Like I said, it just has a little sheen on the leather. Um, and that's about it, man. That has a pale look. But um, of course, no one can tell on foot and all that kind of stuff. So um, it ain't no big deal. They just feel. These feel a little flimsy on my feet. I wore them once and I didn't want to wear them again because um, uh, that's why I was so upset with the Rebellion Airs because when I wore those, they just, I mean, anything I walked on, man, is just like, I could feel, it felt like I was walking barefooted to an extent or wearing some some uh, some really, really cheap flip-flops, man. So uh, it, it is what it is, man. And I don't know anything about the newer uh, style, the newer versions and stuff like that. So and i don't care to know <laughs> so it's all good man uh like comment share subscribe man it's your boy jake signing out man salute to the new subscribers old subscribers man appreciate y'all all the time man appreciate y'all man thanks for watching it's your boy jake signing out peace